Okay, I mean, we could just run out the front entrance. We know where it is. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, we have a hook. Oh, now we're getting the items here. Gotcha, okay. So I'm gonna guess hook on rope, right? Oh no, huh, that totally felt like the, hmm, okay. Is there anything else down here? Now, now uh, a puzzle is afoot. Okay, that's actually pretty smart uh, when you think about it, because why would Holmes want to pick up those items until I can't get out through the window. We actually had a reason to use them. We reinforced. I'll have to find another way out. Okay. That, that that's some that's some good puzzling. I need something. Oh. Huh. Interesting. What do we want to do I need here? Something. Hard to tell what. Okay. Why do I want I need the something. rope? Huh. I need something. Very strange. All right. We have cans. I need something. Hmm. Okay, bucket and tin cans. I need something. So are we just gonna try to create a, like Close. a diversion? Like make the, 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 oh, are we gonna like drop a bucket of cans to make sound so we can run out the front? All right, is there anything in here? Oh, okay, we got something on top of this here. This may come in handy. Hmm. Just, uh, yeah, just a candlestick, nothing, nothing fancy. Nothing on the coat rack here. Anything out the window? I can't get out through the window. It's blocked. Yeah. It appears to be reinforced. Okay. I'll have to find another way out. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. They have well secured the building. We must find another way. Yeah. This is the where kitchen. they're. Yeah. It's closed, and besides, I won't find what I'm looking for. Oh, uh, I definitely thought we were going to get to go in the kitchen now. All right. So this no, is. That's not a good idea. Yeah. The watchman's the there. The watchman is still there. I must find a way to get him to leave his post. Yeah, I think the whole thing is we need to have created a sound aversion. Why, why is there a can? Oh, are we gonna burn through the rope? Ah, I think I, I, I think I see something. what's happening here. So, I need something. Huh, is there anything else in here? So we're going to have it slowly burn through the rope so that we can run to the other room and then it'll fall on its own. Okay, but how do we? I need something. Hmm, we already used some of the rope. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Is there anything around? Oh! I need something. You mean? I need something. Oh, oh, do we put the hook here? Oh, I think, I think I see what's happening here. We need to put the string on here, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So now we can, yes, exactly. This is exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay, I just didn't see that on the ceiling. Okay, and now. Now let's quickly hide in that min Perfect. Come on, let's go. There we go. <laughs> Look at him creeping. Just. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You better go investigate. Book it, Holmes. Book it. Flawless execution. Let's visit Joseph Levy at 36 Middlesex Street. All right. Oh, oh my God. Literally right in the center of our murder zone. Here I am in Middlesex Street. Uh -huh. Let's find number 36. All right. Well, there's 38. So 36 right here. Okay. Anything that we can, anyone we can talk to? Hmm, no, nothing. All right, well, I guess let's go to 36. Hello, hello. What do you want? Hello, ma'am. I would like to speak with Mr. Levy. Do you know if he's in? I am Mrs. Levy, his wife. Okay. He's not arrived oh, yet. Oh, okay. Do you know when he'll be in? Oh, no idea. You know, he works at the butchers and helps at the slaughterhouse. It often happens that he doesn't come in until early hmm. morning and then leaves right away. A little suspicious. Well, listen, as soon as your husband Joseph returns, tell him that... My husband isn't called Joseph. You what? are the wife of Joseph Hyam Levy? No, of course not. I'm the wife of oh. Jacob Levy. Mr. Wait, Hyam so Levy then... Used to live here with his parents. Where's Joseph? Parents. I... Mommy, mommy, who's the man that you are talking to? 
Oh, the syphilitic this poor child face. Has syphilis. Yes. He carries the mark on his face. Well, kind of. Yes, children. Go back inside with your brothers and sisters. Yes, mother. Hmm. I think we found a bit of a As hint here. Saying, uh -huh. Mr. Hyman Levy doesn't live here. He works in the butchers near Aldgate, but I don't know exactly where. Hmm. But if you find him, he will surely live next door. Butchers always live near their work. I mean, that seems like a smart idea. Could you possibly give him a message on my behalf? It just... I don't see him hmm. often, and... Well, even though we know him, we aren't on friendly terms, you see? Is he bothering you, Mommy? No, Simon, not at all. That's a handsome boy you have. It's strange that he has light hair. Yeah, that is weird. His father. Oh. Strong with light hair. Hmm. Okay. Well, he sounds familiar to me. A man of about 50 years old, very big, at least six feet tall, and left handed, correct? You are mistaken yet again. My oh, husband is only 50 shit. years old. No taller than we 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 three. tricked her into Before providing the information. Obviously, there are many levies in the area. I will leave you, and I pray that you'll excuse okay. the disturbance. Perhaps we will have the pleasure of meeting again. Farewell. Oh man, Goodbye, sir. I feel bad for her because it seems like maybe her husband is Jack the Ripper. Oh, oh, have we found our guy? Daddy. Yeah, light hair. Return to Baker Street. Five foot, five Let's foot two, five Baker foot Street. three, 32 years old. Holy shit. I think we have our guy. Well, Watson, not looking so good. Whose fault is that, Holmes? <laughs> if you hadn't shown me your masterpiece. Oh, in come play, on, Holmes. You're made of Cerner stuff. have much larger repercussions than would be assumed at first glance. Listen, Watson, in a few minutes, I will leave Baker Street in order to meet Jack the Ripper and put an end to his crimes. Beforehand, I want to go over all our discoveries to assure myself that everything is clear. Okay. Jack the Ripper? You know the identity well, of I have Jack a strong inclination we may have found our boy. I doubt, Watson, and I assure you that we are in possession of all the elements required. Oh, so are we going to now finish Jack up the deduction board? Is. Would you like to do this work with me? Absolutely, Holmes. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to we're going to finish up all the deductions. Well, we are still missing certain information in order to finish this investigation, oh. Watson. Oh, 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 it's just filling in this. All right, so all right, so what deduction do we have from this? Syphilis deforms the patient's face. MJ Kelly was disfigured. And he had and he disfigures his victims to look like they have syphilis. Jack the Ripper wanted to give his last victims the appearance of syphilis. Jack the Ripper wanted to rip the faces off his last victims. Uh yeah, he wants to give them the, the appearance of syphilis. Definitely. And from that we can deduce. Uh he doesn't want to compare him to a terminal illness. He might suffer from syphilis. Oh, no, he is was confronted with syphilis. There we go. Okay. So we got that. And we need to now fill up this. So the wounds of uh, Catherine Eddowes' neck reveal that the murder is right-handed. And from that, we can get is right-handed. Of course. All right. Next up. What do we got here? All right. So there is no organ traffic in London... Uh, many of uh, MJ Kelly's organs were detached. MJ Kelly's lungs were subject to incisions. And Catherine Eddowes' liver and lungs underwent small incisions. So from that, we can deduce that... Hmm. Oh. Want to verify the health of his victims, much like the butcher. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, so A. Chapman's uterus was removed and taken. C. Eddowes' kidney and uterus were removed. MJ Kelly's heart was removed the same way as the other murders. What can we deduce from that? Ooh. Each had a deformity, and eh, not really. Jack the Ripper removed the victim's organs when he could. Jack the Ripper lost the organs of some of his victims when he examined them. No. Hmm. Yeah, he removed the victims when he when he could. When he was given the opportunity, he removed the organs that he wanted. All right, from here, what can we get? All right. So, the murderer cut open Polly Nichols' throat. The same butcher's knife was used in all the other crimes that we definitely know from our, our testing on the pigs. Sieto's murderer knew anatomy. A Chapman's killer has a knowledge of anatomy. The murderer opened Sieto's abdomen like that of an animal. Okay, so, I mean, it seems like a very... All right, the Whitechapel killer is or was a butcher. Seems like a high likelihood. <laughs> all right, we got that correct. 
Oh, geez, this is a huge mess. All right, so what do we have here? What what is the like the huge deduction here? The Ripper has an accomplice. No, definitely not. I don't think so. Jack the Ripper could not have committed these five murders. Jack the Ripper definitely killed P. Nichols. Perfect, Watson. Hell yes, he killed Let's them all. Determine who Jack the Ripper is, Watson. Oh come on, we 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 know. All right. Well, let's go to let's go through it all. Thus, we have five suspects. Let's add the elements that correspond to each of them. Okay, so we do have a strong amount of other uh, subjects. Only one of them actually matches the description, though, of of the murderer. But we'll we'll go through it. All right. So, was confronted with uh, no. I wanted yeah. So you were confronted with syphilis. Syphilis. You were also confronted with syphilis. I want it. Yeah. There you go. Much nicer. Uh, was or is a butcher. Yep, that's you. And was or is a butcher is also you. Uh, Francis Tumbleteen, no. Uh, score, to settle with, score to settle with the Jewish community. Maybe Jacob? Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Right-handed. Oh, yeah, they're all right-handed. These are So all of these people are right-handed. We know that for sure. Huh. Nope. And no, no, no one else has been. Well, there we go. All right, so definitely he is poor. He is also poor. Walter Sickert, who is this guy? Oh, is he the the artist? I don't think he's poor though. No, he he's actually quite wealthy. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of who else. I don't think this guy has a score to settle. Oh, you guess I guess he kind of does, but not really. I would say that's a bit of a stretch. All right. Just making this nice and easy to read. All right. So, what else am I missing here? Confronted with syphilis. I don't think he was. No. No, no one else is. So then what are we missing here? Oh, oh, five feet three inches tall. That's definitely Jacob. Yep. And I don't think anyone else, but we don't know the height of anyone else. That's the problem. So I'm just going to place this here. Yeah, he was the only one. I mean, he's the only one that we for sure know the height of because we actually asked someone about it. Mm, is or was a butcher. I mean, he's a doctor, but yeah, no, he's not a very good doctor. If he is, if he is even legally a doctor, it seems like from all the evidence we've gathered, he's maybe like a doctor by name, but maybe not by training. <laughs> oh, light color, light colored hair and a mustache. And that's it. That's it. Uh, he's the only one. Hmm. Poor. Is he poor? Yeah, I guess he's poor. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm not seeing anything that we're missing. I don't think he has a score to sell. No? No? James Hardiman also seems very, very much not the murderer. Okay, so what are we missing? I mean, it's obviously Jacob, but I mean... Hmm. Yeah, I think we got everything on him, right? Ah, there we go. That's the last bit. He lives there. Ah, uh, uh, the murderer has workman's clothes, so he definitely has that. Uh, I think, nope, he does not. He does. Okay, so there, were, there was a whole bunch up here that we just didn't get to. Okay, great physical force. Oh, okay, so it's definitely you. Uh, I think he might. No, he does not. Does he? Yes, he does. Uh, I don't know if this guy has great physical force. I, I don't think so, yeah. All right, so what else? Hmm. Yeah, we've gone through most of it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like maybe the deck is the deck is uh, stacked in uh, Jacob Levy's uh, favor or against him. I guess depending on how you want to look at it. Okay. Uh, does I mean I don't think he has a light colored hair. No, he doesn't. No, he does not either. No. Hmm. Who is? What are we missing? What What do we still need to put on to someone? Yeah, that's, hmm. Yeah, we got these on you. These two. Yeah, you're right-handed. That Those are the automatics. 
So then what am I missing? I feel like we, we put every single one onto you. So what are you, what do you, maybe one of you three missing or four? Because I feel like we got everything on him. Hmm. Oh, Abraham, wasn't he a, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wasn't he also a butcher? Hold on. There we go. That was it. That was it. Okay. And I mean, I mean, oh, please Jack the Ripper on the mannequin. Perfect. He is Jack the Ripper. Hell yes. We got our man. Watson, Jacob Levy, Jack the Ripper. Fantastic homes and terrifying. Well, yes. But some aspects of this case are still unclear, at least for me. I mean, for seems example, pretty clear. Watson, why does the man only kill prostitutes? Well, the man kills prostitutes. They're vulnerable members of society. The misery of his mm -hmm. life. He must have frequented them assiduously, and during these nocturnal visits, he contracted syphilis, which he passed on to his yes, spouse, and uh -huh. her at least one of his children. He is an angry man in despair, yes. a mistake that it, 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 it is. It, he is seeking revenge for something that he did. Why does he only kill such miserable prostitutes? He never had the means to afford prostitutes of higher standing than Nichols. So they're the ones that he others. blames. At one point in his life, he was forced to steal to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. This indiscretion cost yes. him dearly. He was imprisoned and exiled from his community. Twelve months hard labor. He had frequented low-class prostitutes. Thus, it was they who infected him. And God they damn. Must pay. Ooh, all right. But why did he remove the organs? To take vengeance on his own community, which rejected him and had more success than he. This, I mean, this is a little bit a of a stretch. The burden of a sinister reputation, that of a thief and a madman, because of his internment. So he took his yeah, that's right. In the most cowardly and horrific manner imaginable. His, his own, his own, his, uh, his own brother. Prostitute before using it, he passed Edal's kidney yeah. as a veal kidney. Oh God. Why did he disfigure the faces of the last two To make victims? them look like, uh, Revenge yeah, again. exactly, for what it did to his child. did to my child, you will suffer the same I mean, fate. technically he did it, but, you know, he's not taking any responsibility. And the piece of apron and the message at Goulston Street? The only reason to have placed the piece of apron incriminating the message mm. and attracting attention towards himself is that the people that Levy holds ah, responsible for his arrest live in course. this building. Right. And the butchers where he committed the theft is found in Goulston Street, and the majority of the butchers... He was purposely trying to lay the blame at them. ...close to their workplaces. But finally, Holmes... Why didn't his wife or anyone else know? Because he works him? weird hours. His wife has yeah. many children and must be very busy. Mm -hmm. The man is a butcher, which must facilitate things when one is questioned. By Why are you covered in blood? And must justify <laughs> the blood stains on oneself. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Furthermore, butchers often work during the night as the meat must be sold fresh each morning. His nocturnal absences. Yeah, no, and it all checks out. Why he would be inconspicuous? Finally, he works in the butchers or slaughterhouses. And why the murders seem to be taking place so late at night or early. In the morning, using a knife soiled with human blood, there. Mm hmm. This story is frightful. Homeless. Yeah, it's it's pretty Indeed, grisly. Watson. Lies, infidelity, venereal disease, murder, mutilation. It's got all the the markings of a, a scandalous story of what humans at their most vile are capable. Let's go at once to Whitechapel and put this madman where he can do no more harm, Holmes. I love it. Watson's got the wind in his sail. It's Watson. Oh, yes, a rainy, foggy, horrifying evening. Oh, wait, other people are... Oh, oh, oh right, we told we them to, to come here. I hope these men no, no, no. Us from passing. Me? No, but you, yes, Watson. Your journey ends here tonight. Go, wait, you brought him out in the You're rain? Sometimes a little hot-headed. <laughs> and moreover, Mr. Solomon... Just to leave him outside? To tell you, I won't be long. Oh, that's a big dick move, Sherlock. You Just leaving your boy out there in the rain. He's waiting for you inside. Everything was organized according to your instructions. I don't know how to thank you. Later, later. Dr. Watson is awaiting an explanation from you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so she, she, she is now become aware. 
Oh, our, oh, we're gonna get to talk with Jack the Ripper. Oh, we're having a one-on-one, -on -one, a tete-a-tete. -tete. I'm assuming we're not supposed to be hearing this. This is supposed to be like just a, a moody, because there's no subtitles either. Oh shit. But what did what did what did Holmes want to know? Damn. Wait, oh, is he asking how, like him how he did it? Oh shit. Ah damn. This is like a really grisly, like, denouement. <laughs> so it was like Sherlock just asking him for his own, like, I need to know if I got it all right. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I think we definitely got our man. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about if we got the wrong guy. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, I really feel like, uh. It would have been nice if we caught you a little bit earlier, but. Can't do anything. Oh, okay, so this is him writing on the wall. Okay, so he's recounting the whole tale of all the murders. So this is. After he, yeah. Wrote, wrote the letter, left the piece of apron. Oh, god damn. Yo, this is pretty dark. <laughs> as far as, our, as far as Sherlock Holmes stories go, this one is unbelievably dark. So this is the this is the one where he took the heart from them, right? I'm assuming. <laughs> so he he's he's reliving all of the murders. Oh, god damn. Maybe, maybe keep him locked. Maybe, maybe keep him, like, I don't know, at least tied to the chair. I don't think he should be left alone in a room. Oh, my god. Holmes, you're a little too calm after all this. Hello, Watson. Holmes. Have you the slightest idea of what you are doing? Um, I playing the so, violin? Watson. Leaving this bloodthirsty pervert at liberty and hiding his existence from the London Oh, okay, police? so this is why what it explains Holly? why, you know, he's considered like an Certainly uncaught never serial killer. Man. Okay. But with so many men deployed, this affair will indirectly have a benevolent effect on the crime in the vicinity. Okay, I, I see but what he's Holmes, saying. Wait, justice hasn't been served. And I mean, I'm, I'm assuming justice will fact. be served. Justice? But I don't serve justice, Watson. I serve truth. And incidentally, I serve my country, and I don't think that I have ever served it better than mm. today. Okay. Imagine if after months of terror and a murder as abominable as that of Miller's court. Okay, H Holmes English has got like, you know, a, a decent face, reason a why he's keeping this a secret. As the yeah. Guilty party. yeah, totally. A man who forced members of his own people to eat human flesh. All of this contained tension would have exploded in a myriad of anti Semitic actions. Yeah, that would have been would have terrible. Thrown Whitechapel into a rage of. Yeah fire and blood okay and this yeah that makes sense yeah completely innocent and have suffered more than their lot would have been the first in the line of sight. exactly should we condemn an entire he's looking out for the innocent people promise them a thousand wounds because one of their members committed an unmentionable crime neither i nor exactly have the right to do so hell Jake yeah Levy, jack the ripper is now in the hands of his own i'm people. sure that they will deal with I him complete faith in correctly Mr. yeah and the members of his community who i remind you courageously helped us. hell yeah they took great risks and acted with the most salutary discretion this is an interesting and, i uh, like concept for a sure like a, cannot a jack the ripper tale that he was in fact caught but the the fact that he was caught was kept from the public eye the somber period in pursuit of Let's see something challenging. Hey, a oh. that glows in the night. Don't be ridiculous, Holmes. <laughs> but what will happen now? I love the hand of the basketball. Police will endure a serious setback and a real loss of credibility. Eh, they didn't and, have any to begin with. It's and fine. This, this man. 
Well, a few months after the murders have ceased, the police commission, finding themselves at an impasse, will come up with a story to tell. Uh, of and course, of course. Will that they know the secret identity of the killer without having the right to reveal it. As for Jacob Levy, Jack the Ripper, he will be imprisoned. Oh, I'm sure he will be imprisoned for the rest like of his natural his life. Cage until the end of his days, haunted by his crimes and his insatiable vengeance, until finally the disease which drove him to kill those poor. Okay, women there, there's a bit of justice there. Make him its final victim. But goddamn, the murder of Mary Jane Kelly was Jack the Ripper's last crime. On July 29, 1891, Jacob L Levy died of a general paralysis caused by syphilis. In the same year, 1891, the police filed away the case for good, without explanation. For the general public, the mystery remained unsolved. Jack the Ripper's shadow roams forever in Whitechapel's alleys. Oh, that was really good. I really loved the area of Whitechapel you visited in this. The actual location here also, I think, is is a huge plus for this game. Like the, uh, you know, misty, foggy, grimy streets of old London are such a great setting for fiction. Like they're just so evocative. They're such like a, I don't know. It's it's hard to put a word to it exactly, but they're they're such a a place with a lot of mystique. I guess is maybe the way to put it. There's so much, you know seediness and and uh, salaciousness going on as well as 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 the actual characters you know they're interacting with they're interesting you know you you have the doctor you know you have the the brothel um all that stuff uh, the the butcher the cobbler the pet store the, there's some interesting characters in this that you kind of get to regularly come back to and have interactions with compared to some of the previous games where you're just kind of having one-off conversations with people. These games are, are, are a ton of fun. I'm, I'm so glad that they are continuing to make them. Obviously, evolving the franchise, so it's not just the same thing over and over. But, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the characters in this compared to the previous ones that were kind of more cookie-cutter, cut-out, like, like, stereotypes of characters. Like, they're just, like, archetypes. In this game, it feels like you're actually interacting with characters more so. And, and I think that's a, a, another strong point in its favor compared to the previous ones. Yeah, do you know what? Honestly, I think this might be my favorite of this kind of band of the Sherlock games. I, I really enjoyed this a lot, and uh, I, I really hope that at some point they get to revisit this kind of spooky location. Because all the more modern games are, I guess, a little more eschewing to, like, adventure gaming. I, I would love to also blend in a little bit more horror with it, but that's just my also taste. I love horror games, so can't help me there. Yeah, this was fantastic, and I had a wonderful time playing it.